Hello, my gorgeous plant people. Welcome back to Reading Mindfully. My name is Iana, and today is the day. Today is the day. I don't know why I'm in such a good mood, but today I am finally propagating my plants getting them you know back to a place where they just look better so i'm propagating and i'm restaking my plants some of them i'm cutting all the way back others i'm just gonna see how it goes but i have a lot of plants to start propagating cutting back and i have them like lined up here in the living room i put a footage in there but i have about uh, 10 or so plants to cut back and stake so let's just get into it and um yeah so like i said i'm just gonna propagate a couple i bought these steaks if you saw my nursery tour from old country garden i bought these steaks um i'm not sure how tall they are maybe four to six feet and they are a little bit wider i don't know if you can see that they're wider than the bamboo steaks that i was using previously so i'm really excited about these and the reason why I'm replacing the bamboo sticks, if you can see the bamboo sticks that I was using, they're not heavy enough for the plant. As you can see, the plant has been, um, I actually put this one in here because the plant was, it's like weighing it down. So I need a heavier stake to be able to hold the plant in place. And so that's why I'm replacing uh, the current stakes that I have in the, in the plant but you can see my my moss poles that I have in here and so the first plant that I have is my philodendron melanocrys and varicosum cross this is a very beautiful easy going plant um, and I have neglected it a little bit so now I'm trying to get it back to a place where it looks really great and it can just you know flourish really well I'm gonna put this stake in there and I'm gonna try to get it in the middle without hurting the plant. And normally people would up pot the plant and you know restake it, but I'm a little lazy, so I'm just gonna kind of work it in there without damaging the root too much. And we have hit bottom, so this is good. And then I'm gonna use these Velcro tapes. So you may wonder what supplies I'm using. And I'm gonna let you know. So I'm using these plant Velcro tapes. It usually comes in a roll, but I've used them so often that I've just been saving and reusing because you know, we don't waste materials here. I'm using mason jars. And then these shears. I got two pack of shears. I got these from Vivo Sun on Amazon link in my description and so I'm just going to use these to go ahead and prop this up and yeah so let's use this tape it's been a long time since I've propagated my plants I don't often propagate my plants but when I do, it really needs to be done. I don't just propagate to propagate. I try to do it with intention because I also don't want to end up with a ton of plants. I don't like having a ton of propagations around my home. I know other people have, um, you know, a lot of enjoyment from propagating plants, but that's just not me. And so this part of the plant is actually bending at the, at the stem because it's so heavy. Let me back up a little bit here. And so I'm actually gonna cut it there because the weight is just, it's bringing the plant down and it's making the stem very weak. And I feel like over time it's gonna end up snapping. And so I'm just gonna cut that, you know, in that place and then I'll make propagations from this long piece and so with propagation like I've said in other videos you basically just want to propagate 
under the node and you see if you see those roots that's where you'll get roots and so I'll just cut right under there and that's one cutting and I'm hoping that it'll off also straighten out after a while but I'll just put that in my mason jar and I'm basically I'm thinking about making I'll make three cuttings out of this and that'll give me a good chance of having um, extra plants but it'll look really nice once I pot it back in the pot it'll get a lot fuller I also do have a new growth growing here so um, cutting your plants does encourage growth and then I'm gonna pack that soil down around the stake not pressing too hard because I don't want to damage the roots but I do want the stake to be firmly in there and then also when I water the plant it'll be in there checking my moisture meter it is almost time for a watering so this steak will be firmly in there. But that looks a lot better from what it, it did look like. And now I have three extra cuttings of this plant. So that way I can go ahead and fill it, make it fuller. But that's the first plant. My philodendron melanochrysum cross now looks a lot better. Let's move on. All right, I'm going to move on to the next plant because I do, like I said, I do have quite a bit. My next plant, I hope you can see, this is my Thai constellation. She is a big girl. As you can see. And so the only reason, um, with monsters, you should stake them pretty early so that way they can grow in a nice manner. I always fail to stake mine <laughs> when I should, but I'm going to stake mine so that way it stays up. Plus, it's been leaning this way because she's been trying to, um, I have her over here. She's trying to like go towards this window here, and so that's why she's leaning. But I just want to stake her up so that way she can, you know stand up right and I'm just going to put it here slide that down in there that actually fit in there really well and then see I even have extra tape here but I just wanted to give it some extra support because it was wobbly and since, since these plants are such heavy plants, they do need the support so they don't snap or fall over, which would cause a lot of extra damage to the plant. So you do wanna make sure that you do give them some support. And that's what I'm gonna do here. And I did take a cutting off of this plant before because I gave my mom a cutting. And so she did split off and grow this branch here. I don't know if you can see that, but I had taken a cutting right here. And so she split off here. But she is looking really good. I think I'm gonna put one more piece of tape. Oh, I need a longer piece. Just to make sure she's good. And so now she looks a lot better. And hopefully with the extra stability, she won't be leaning over anymore. And so that's what she looks like now. Looks so much better. All right.
The next plant is my Raffidophora decursiva. This plant, if you watch my transplant transformation, my treatment video, I was saying how this plant wasn't the best grower because it oftentimes throws out a bunch of runners and I don't like the look of runners. And so I've had to propagate this plant a couple times just so I can get the look of a fuller plant. And I don't know, it just continuously throws out runners from time to, like it throws out runners from time to time. And so I'm always having to propagate this plant to get it to look like what I want it to look like. And let's see. And then the only thing about this plant is that it grows such thick st um, stems after a while. It's hard to maneuver these stems. See, it's kind of hard to like um, straighten it up without trying to try not to snap it. So these plants, in my opinion, need to be trained early so that way you don't damage the plant. Cause it's so hard to get them staked after they've already started growing. But we're gonna try to fix this one up. Do you guys have any plants that you're currently trying to fix up? I feel like my plants just need some extra love and attention sometimes. <laughs> oh. A plant parent's job is never done. And this is that runner that I was talking about. It throws off these long things. I think I'm just gonna stick that piece up there. I have so many pieces of this Velcro. But let's see. This is not easy doing this with one, one hand attached to the plant. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. I'm hoping that this will like kind of raise up a little bit. Yeah, I'm hoping that it'll prop up like this. And then what I'm gonna do is take my thicker shield and I'm just gonna take another cutting off of this because look at all this stem. Like I don't need all of this stem. And I'm just gonna propagate one leaf from this plant. And that looks so much better in my opinion than having that long piece just hanging off. And so that's, this is what the decursive was gonna look like. I think that looks a lot better. And it has been throwing off offshoots if you can see this piece. And so every time I do cut it, it looks like it has been, you know, throwing off offshoots. And so all I need to do now is just water this plant and it'll be good. The next plant I have is my Adapapawensi. This one has really gotten lanky and kind of straggly looking. And so I'm gonna take a lot of cuttings from this plant and just bring it back to a reasonable height and hopefully fill it out at the same time because as you can see, it's, it's pretty sparse. As well, there's a lot of um, space between the petioles or the 
and then you know the nodes and so I'm hoping that when I propagate it and fill it back in it'll be a, a, a fuller at a papa one C. This one I also had to put in an extra stick to hold it up because the plant was so heavy. It was too heavy for the current pole that's in there. And so that's another reason why I wanted to go ahead and get a thicker stick. And I'm just gonna slowly push that in there. And see, that looks a lot more stable already. Uh, and I'm going to take a couple pieces. So that's one cutting. You always want to try to take a cutting, especially if you have a growth point at the top. I noticed that they do a lot better if you at least have one leaf. So that's what I try to do. Take a cutting with at least one leaf. And I think I'm going to take one more. So I took a lot of cuttings off of this one. But this plant, in my experience, grows really fast. At least it, it did in my collection. And so I don't mind taking um, more cuttings from this plant. Because it will grow back. And you see how that's more stable? And now I have all of these cuttings. Ooh. You know, to fill it in. So this will look a lot better, you know, once it's filled in. Look at that. That's going to look so good. So, that's what I'm going for. I'm so excited. And this one needs to be watered as well, so I'll be taking care of that. This plant is one of my favorites. This is the Philodendron Squamiferum. And this is just such a beautiful plant. It has, as you can see, grown unruly and unstable. As you can see, there's a theme here. My plants just outgrew the moss pole or the stake that I had in there previously. And so we're going to remedy this and stick it. This one, I don't know if it's going to stay up because the pot's kind of shallow, but we'll try it. And I'm trying to see how I'm going to stake this because there's technically two plants in here. So I have to like stake them up. So they can both, you know, hold their own. If you guys can see this. All right. So I'm gonna stake one up one way, and the other branch I'm gonna stake the other way. I wonder if I can get this closer. <clears throat> I think this will be good. And right now I'm staking up the tinier. At one is smaller than the other. And so I just staked up this one. Might need a longer piece. And I was thinking it would look really pretty if I wrap these stakes in twine and you could say that that would look really nice and go with my aesthetic and everything but as far as like patience and you know having the desire to do that i don't have that so this is why i'm just you know using the bare steak and just um you know the plant tape because i could you know, wrap this, the wooden stakes in twine and make it look all nice, but I don't feel like doing that, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I'm just worried about getting my plants fixed, not really if it's like super aesthetically pleasing. All right, let me try to 
get this on here. I just want these plants to be encouraged to climb and not like trail because they're not trailing plants. And they've only become trailing plants because I have have been lazy and made them to feel like they're trailing plants. And so I'm taking this moment here to rectify that. So that already looks good. Like I said, I don't know if this steak is gonna stay up because the pot is so narrow or shallow, but I don't know. I was thinking about cutting this one back, but now I'm not sure if I really need to cut it back. I think it just really needed to be staked up because it really doesn't look that bad. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll take Hmm. It is kind of getting longer here because since it was going down, it wasn't getting the amount of light that it needed cuz you see it's like very like compact at the bottom. So maybe I will cut that actually to see if I can get it to fill in a little bit. I'll just take three cuttings of that and then this is what it looks like after. I'm hoping that these leaves will kind of like straighten, them, straighten themselves out and face down like they're supposed to. And I'm just going to pack the soil around the stake to help stabilize it. And it's a little leaning, but it'll be okay. Looks a lot better than what it did look like. And I have one more plant. Oh wait, I have two more plants to do inside. This one here is my golden dragon. And as you can see, the, the pole like completely snapped. And so yeah, definitely have to fix this one. The d golden dragon is such an interesting plant. I love philodendrons and plants that have those different shapes. You know, with the head or the, um, like the padatum and the golden dragon or the squamiferum. I love plants that just have those different like head shapes, leaf shapes. This one also has like two in the pot. So I need to stake up this plants all over the place. So I have one plant on this side and one the major plant on this side. And I'm just going to start from the bottom because I do want to take cuttings of this plant because because there are some leaves that I, I don't really like that don't have that golden dragon shape that they're supposed to have because it wasn't getting enough light. Again, because it was um, starting to like trail. Just trying to pull this tape taut so the plant can stay up. And you see how heavy it is? It's because the the plant just got so top heavy. But I'm gonna take one cutting. And you see, this is what kind of happens to the golden dragon and pedatums when they don't get enough light. They form this like misshapen. Um, kind of wider leaf instead of a more narrow leaf. And I'm just gonna take another cutting. And this one actually split off in two pieces, which is interesting. 
but I'm just gonna cut this. So this leaf got a more light. You see it's more narrow, like a, like the actual golden, uh, the actual dragon shape. And then this one is just fat and chunky. This one clearly didn't get enough light because it, it's reverting back to the more uh, juvenile form. And I'm just gonna pack it around there like I've been doing. And that looks a lot better. You can see that it actually looks a lot better. Has that dragon shape. This is what's getting a ton of light. This one might be my favorite leaf here. Uh, can you see that? So cool. All right. And so I think I might actually do my tetrasperma outside. I'm gonna do the other plants outside just because they're already outside and it's gonna be a lot easier. But yeah, so we got done all of those and it didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take. I'm really surprised. But yeah, let's go outside and do the rest of them. All right, so I'm outside going to stake up my philodendron pedatum. I'm just doing the same thing that I did with the other ones. I already took out the old bamboo stick that was in there and I'm just gonna stake it up just so I can have some more support um, but it's so funny I was reading over the comments in my my other videos and I had asked you guys you know which um, Space Jam movie that you liked and, and also which one do you think I enjoyed better was it the old school or was it Space Jam New Legacy? And uh, you guys did guess right. I did enjoy the old school Space Jam a lot better than the, the New Legacy. And it's not because, you know, I don't like change or anything, but I felt like this space, this new Space Jam took away I don't, it just didn't have that like inspiration feeling that I felt from the old Space Jam. And I even like, me and my friend went to watch the old one the other day, just cause we just like felt in the mood to watch it. And it was just completely different than the new Legacy. They actually showed the basketball game. The new Legacy, it took so long for them to start playing b basketball to get to the actual basketball match it took so long I just don't even know why it took so long to get there and then even when they got to the basketball game it just is like there were so many distractions because Warner Brothers Warner Brothers had all their their old movies in the audience I'm not trying to spoil the plot or anything but it was so distracting because then I was looking into the audience and I'm like, oh, there's this movie. Oh, there's that movie. And it was just like so bad because then I wasn't even paying attention to the basketball game at that point. So I was just like, I don't know. Some of these new movies that are coming out these days, they're just so flashy and extra. It's just like you're taking away from the movie because people aren't able to comprehend what you're trying to say or where you're even going with the movie. But, yeah, if you haven't seen the movie, I would not, just in my opinion, I would not go see it in the theater. I don't think it's worth it. I would just wait till you could just watch it online or however else you, however else you watch movies. But that one, in my opinion, is not worth to go see at the movie theaters. It was really, like, long. I think the movie is, like, two hours long, and it, to me, it's not even worth it it being that long I found myself wondering when the movie was going to end which I hate when that happens because I'm just like that's when I know I'm really not enjoying a movie when I'm like worried about when it's going to end but right now I'm just trying to untangle my um, burl marks to see where I can place this stake my burl marks I don't know I love it, but at the same time, I, I can definitely see that it has grown out of control. So 
So I'm trying to see where I can stake it up because the bar marks, depending on how you grow it, it can be a bush, it could be a climber, or you know, just whatever option you wanted to do. But obviously mine has started to climb. And this is what it looks like. Kind of looks like a hot mess, to be honest. I don't really know how else to, to fix it at this point. I think I'm just gonna try to stake it up to see what it, what it will do. I haven't seen too many brawl marks that actually climb. The ones that I've recently seen in the nursery are bushes. And I kind of want mine to be a bush, but I feel like we're kind of like past that point. So, just gonna tie it up. gonna look. It also needs to be watered, that's why it looks limpy. But yeah, burrow marks. Something in me is telling me to cut it all the way back. I have so many branches. I think I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs> All right. See how we have pieces long enough to start a whole plant? And this is it's so heavy that it's bringing down my whole piece here. But see, I have so much tetrasperma. These plants grow extremely fast, extremely well, at least for me. And I've cut it back so many times that there's multiple stems in this pot. You can see that, probably can't. This one's even so heavy that it snapped the branch. I'm just gonna cut this piece. But see, this piece pretty much died because it broke at that juncture. It had snapped there. So now I, have, I still have a lot of tetrasperma left. So I could leave it at this height, which is what I normally cut it back to. But you see, I've cut it back to this point multiple times. Here's one, two, three, four. I've cut it back at least four times. So I think I just wanna start over, to be honest with you guys. Because it's so, um, if I bring the camera down, it's like so full, like here. But then as you go down further, it's so empty down here. So I kind of just want to like start it over so I can just have a full plant from the bottom to the top. Ow, something bit me. All right, so I'm gonna have to take off all this tape. I think this is one of those plants that I was telling you guys that I wanted to start completely over. Okay, you're fine. The section where the tape So 
so let's see. Oh, there's one more piece. I'm about to just cut this piece off. There we go. Alright. So, this is a lot here. And I'm just going to cut it. Look at all this tetrasperma. It's really a beautiful plant. I'm going to take off that leaf. And yeah. Here's a smaller, more juvenile piece. And I don't think I need the rest. So that's good for this plant. So I don't even know how I'm going to propagate this, but as you can see I have more than enough tetrasperma and really I don't even need all these pieces. That would make a beautiful plant. Plus I have these pieces as well. This is my Syngonium Albo. And as you can see, this plant is just, look at this. Maybe it doesn't look that bad on camera, but it needs to be staked, restarted, something. And there's so many like dead leaves on here as well that I need to, to take care of. And initially I wanted to restart this plant. I was gonna start it all over, chop it all down. But now I'm just thinking maybe I should just stake it up and see how it looks before I chop it up. But there's a lot of leaves that need to be taken off. So now I can see what I'm working with here. So I do have long stems. And as you can see at the bottom, there's like no leaves, which is leading me to believe that I should just start this plant over. Although we do have this little baby piece here that's growing. And we have this baby piece. Maybe I don't have to start it over because then this piece will eventually fill out and grow up. So maybe if I just stake it, I can get it to look nicer. Because another part of me doesn't really want to start this plan over. If I can get it to untangle. Cause there's so many different stems in here from me propagating it before. All right. I want to get the stake right in the middle to be able to support each branch. This is my last stake, so that kind of worked out well. And I'm just gonna put 
push that in there. All right, so there's the tiny one. See the tiny baby? I'm just gonna start Velcroing up. That doesn't look so bad. Oh, and we have some baby ones growing here. This is exactly why I haven't been buying a lot of plants as of late because this stuff takes work. It takes work to keep up with a larger collection, even a smaller collection. It takes work. Anything that you do takes work. Especially if you have other things going on like most of us do. Whether you have a job, you have family friends do you have to find time to fit your plants in and if you're constantly adding plants to your collection that does make everything else a little bit harder Just trying to stake this up to where it's not crushing all of the leaves. Is this starting to look better? All right. Home stretch, guys. Sage is looking suspect. Nah, I know he won't really go anywhere. I've trained him well. My neighbors actually do get surprised when he's like out and they like walk by and he doesn't run up to them. Cause I trained him that way. I don't want him to just run up to anyone. You never know if people, some people are afraid of dogs and other people, you don't know if they're, they're gonna feed your dog something that they shouldn't have. Like, you never know. So you have to be careful. Like this girl, one of my neighbors called him the other day and he was so hesitant, he did not run up to her. And she was like, it's okay, it's okay. And secretly I was like, good boy. So I don't want him to just run up to anybody. Oh, I missed the branch. I think this is the biggest or the longest my elbow has been since I've had it. There was a point in time where I thought I almost killed it because I, I kind of forgot about it. And I almost lost this plant, but this plant is a trooper. 
because it didn't die on me. And I was able to bring it back. This is what we're working with. Yeah, so this plant was a trooper. And geez, it says long. It's going to be pretty much going to the top of the pole. Which I did not think this plant was that tall or that long. And I even have another branch over here. This plant is surprising me. It's like all over the place. This is what that plant looks like. Oh man, I forgot another branch over here. All these extra branches that I didn't even see. All right. But yeah, so those are all the plants that I wanted to cut back. I feel so much better knowing that my collection is, is just coming along. It's just, I can't even explain the feeling that I'm getting guys. like. I just feel so much better. There's a weight off my shoulders and I feel less anxious because my plants, were, some of them, well, in my opinion, they weren't looking the best. And so now that I'm like cleaning them up and they like, they look so much better and I am so excited. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am. But I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching my videos. This is episode three of Plant Transformations. I do have a couple more episodes coming. I need to do an overall trim on some of my plants. I need to do a clean with me because I want to take out my plants, have a chance to bring them outside since it is a lot cooler. It has been a lot cooler lately, so I want to bring out my plants and I want to do a deep clean of my house, do a lot of vacuuming and things like that while I have the opportunity to. And I need to show you guys how I water my plants and just do like some last minute touch-ups. And I think the finale of this series will be um, a um, houseplant tour. So that way you guys can see what the plants look like. And yeah, so I just wanna thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey as I bring my plants back. I do apologize that there are so many episodes, but this is the best way that I feel like I can fix up my plants since I don't have to do it all in one go. This is a lot more manageable and less stressful for me. And so I hope you guys can understand that. Um, but I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching my videos, liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.